Hi and welcome to yet another tutorial. My name is Carolina and today I'll show you how to make those high-waisted trousers using my new pattern called Ines. You can buy this pattern from my Etsy shop and I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. To make those trousers, you'll need approximately 2.5 meter of fabric, 20 cm long coil zip and a button. Starting from the pocket, take a pocket piece, fold it in half and pin the bottom part. Then stitch and overlock the edge. Then place the pocket on the front trouser panel and pin together edges that have been cut on the angle. Make a stitch and press the seam. Next, top stitch the pocket's edge by approximately 4 mm away from the edge. Join front and back trouser sides together, stitch and overlock the bra seams. Overlook the center front edges of the front pieces. Moving on to the zipper, take a fly facing and fold it in half. Then stitch and overlook the edge and also overlook the edge of the zip fly facing. Take the zip and place it in the middle of the fly shield facing, approximately 1 cm away from each edge and 1 cm down. Change to zipper foot and attach the zip. Then fold the fly facing and top stitch the edge. Next, pin and sew the raw edge of the fly facing to the front right trouser panel and press the seam open. Then fold the fly shield, secure it with pins and top stitch. Also make sure to stop stitching when you get to the center of the zip and do not stitch the other side of the zip as we're gonna need it later.
Place the other side of the zipper on the zip facing approximately 1 cm away from the edge and stitch using a zip foot. Then take the front panel and attach it to the zip facing. When you pin it, make sure that the panel will cover up the zip completely. Stitch on the other side of the zip facing, as it's easier to follow the previous stitch line for better accuracy. Then on the right side of the fabric, top stitch the edge close to the zipper. You can then secure zip in place with a small back tack stitch at the bottom. To finish off front, pin and sew the rest of the two panels together and press the seam open. Stitch and overlock the back trouser pieces. Then pin, sew and overlock the inseam. Next, we will finish off the trouser hems just by double folding the fabric by 1cm and top stitching. This is just a basic seam finish as we will double roll the hems at the end. Now, I've created a tutorial on how to adjust this pattern to your specific measurements and all you have to do really is just measure your waist. It's super super easy to do and you can adjust those trousers to your fit. And I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. So moving on to the waistband, sew three pieces of the waistband together. Then attach the waistband to the trousers by pinning side seams together first. And then attach the waistband to the front and leave out extra 1cm. As the last step, pin center back of the trousers to center back of the waistband. Create two front pleats around 8cm away from the pocket by folding the excess fabric. Now the trousers front panel should match the length with the waistband front panel. Then make a two back darts about 11cm long from the excess fabric using the same technique as with the front pleats. Sew the waistband all the way around. Next, we need to add a belt loops before finishing the waistband. Take 8 belt loop pieces, fold them in half and pin them down. Then stitch them so they're at least 1cm wide. Back them out using a loop turner and top stitch on both edges. Now that the belt loops are ready, we can add them to the trousers. I'll add two belt loops on the front left and right, two at the back and one on each side. Mm -hmm. 
Fold the waistband end in half, pin it down and make a straight stitch. Then bag out the corners and use scissors to make them nice and pointy. Then continue to fold the waistband inside by 1cm and pin it down as you go. Once you're done, top stitch the waistband carefully. Fold the end of the bed loop by 1cm and stitch it to the top of the waistband. Next, we need to make a buttonhole. The buttonhole should be 1cm away from the edge and exactly in the middle of the waistband. You can use pins or chalk to mark where it should be. As the last step, we need to add a button. With a closed zip, take a pin and put it through the center of the buttonhole, and that's exactly where your button should be. And that's it! your own perfect pair of tailored trousers. Thanks for watching.